In Season of Rice, players draft cards in two separate rounds in order to grow their rice farm. To start, shuffle all 18 double-sided cards and deal two to each player. Players then decide which card to use for its Ancestor ability side and which to play within their play area. The Ancestor card that is chosen is placed to the side and acts as a unique scoring mechanism for that player. The rest of the game only uses the Paddy side of the cards. The remaining deck of cards should be Ancestor side up. Deal 7 cards to each player. During the dry season of the game, players take turns simultaneously. Looking at the hand of cards, players choose one card to add to their play area and one card to go into a face-up row to be used in the following season. Players then swap hands and repeat until there are no more cards left. When placing cards into your play area, they must follow these rules. Cards must be placed either vertically oriented or horizontally oriented. Cards placed in your play area must either have their sides or top touching. They cannot be connected by just the corners. Cards cannot overlap each other. Paths and furrows that extend to the edge of a card must connect to other paths and furrows if placing a card that would be placed over their path. You may not close a paddy that has a loose path inside of it. A paddy is in an area that is enclosed by connecting paths together so that there are no gaps or openings. These are considered scored as soon as they are created. Once both players have completed their hand of seven cards, they continue on to the dry season, starting with the player that has fewer points. In the dry season of the game, players take turn drafting cards from the center area that they were building during the first season in the game. When a player takes a card from this row, they immediately add it to their play area following the normal placement rules. Once all cards are gone, players continue on to end of game scoring. Players score points based on the size of their successfully enclosed rice patties. The size of a patty is determined by how many squares are within the enclosed space. In addition, each house within that area adds plus one to the size. Size one patties earn one point, size two earn two points, size three earn four points, size four earn seven points, size five earn ten points, and any field that is six or more in size earns only six points. In addition to patty size, players can also earn points for farmers in their patties as well as buffaloes. Patties earn 1, 3, 5, and 8 points for having 1, 2, 3, or 4 plus farmers in them respectively. Buffaloes that are in successfully enclosed patties are worth 2 points. However, if a player has a buffalo that is not within an enclosed patty, it is counted as a negative 1 point at the end of the game. Players take into account bonus points that may have been gained from their ancestor cards. The player with the most points wins.